morning guys and gals mama bear here with a daily dash of life today i'm up making breakfast for everyone this morning for the children i'm going to be making some oatmeal some creamy oatmeal and for papa and i i'm going to make some eggs with migas in it i have to use some jalapenos because we bought a lot the other day and we didn't use them all so now i need to start using those up before they go bad i'm also going to toss in some onion and some bacon mm, that's what i'll do in a pot, I'm bringing eight cups of water to a boil. I dumped a little bit of salt in there. I just added four cups of oats to the pot and I lowered the heat to a medium high heat instead of a high heat. Once this comes back to a boil, I'm going to lower the heat to a very low setting so that the water is just going to simmer. This is what I want right here. Now is a good time to add some vanilla extract. And some cinnamon. And don't worry about leftovers. That's always good when you're busy on a school week. And just pop it in in the morning into the microwave, warm it up, add a little bit of milk to it, and make it creamy again. You don't have to cook the next day. With the vanilla and the cinnamon in, I'm going to add a lid and then just set my timer for 15 minutes. When everyone gets up, they're going to be ready for their tea, and I know I'm ready for mine now. So I'm going to set the kettle on the stove, set that on high get that ready. As I'm waiting for the kettle to heat the water, I'm going to add some vanilla syrup to everybody's mugs. I'm a barista these days. Everyone has a little bit of sugar now. Brother Bear will be getting a decaf black tea. I'm also adding a bit of lavender and spearmint to his. Little Bear will be getting some Earl Grey with some lavender and spearmint. Big Bear will be getting her lemon verbena and I will be getting a London Fog latte with some spearmint in it. The oats have opened up. They're beginning to soften. Water's getting hotter. I'm starting to hear the pitter patter of little feet. Here's the first tea going in. Now is a good time to add the sugar of your choice and the amount of your choice. I like to start with Brother Bear's tea because his is the one that needs to cool off the longest. Big Bear is awake and she asked if I could add some extra lavender to her lemon verbena. So that's what I'm doing. And away we go. Big Bear doesn't take cream in her tea. Now that the oats have been able to soak up all the water and cook all the way through, I'm gonna add some milk for the creaminess. Mix in the milk. Give the oats time to soak the milk up. And then you're just ready to serve after that. Doesn't that look so good? Creamy, I'm telling you, soft oats. Who doesn't want that? 
my children love this especially when we put fruit on top and we also add nuts some of my children like to add, add nuts to it some don't some just like the fruit we just customize it for each child and that's it 15 minutes Now you have all this left over for tomorrow, so you don't have to cook tomorrow, you just have to heat it up. And Mama's turn. I get two packs of Earl Grey. If I have a um, loose leaf, I prefer loose leaf. And I'm gonna add some spearmint and lavender to it. And here I have a splash of vanilla and a splash of cream. It's just like, uh, it's just like Little Bears, except mine's a little stronger. I make hers very light. In a pan, I'm just going to add some vegetable oil so that I can toast the tortillas real quick. This is going to be the migas part. Prepare a plate with some paper towels so that you can dry the tortillas after. Papa likes his more on the toasty side, so I'm going to let the edges brown a little bit. Three minutes later. Keep an eye on it, it goes pretty quick. This one's already starting to toast on the edge, so this one. Okay, I can take some of these out already. See how they're getting brown? That's just what we want. Then I'm just going to drain the oil out of this pan and wipe it down and let the pan cool because I'm going to use the same pan to add my bacon but I want to start the pan off cold when I do that. Like I said, Papa wants these toasty. So I'm going to let them brown. I'm not going to pull them out until they're brown. This is what my tortillas are looking like right now. And as I wait for the pan to cool, I'm going to go crack my eggs. This breakfast is just for Papa Bear and I, so I'm only going to make five eggs. And if you can, please crack your eggs on a flat surface. It helps to keep the shells out of the eggs. I'm out of season also. Tony Shasheries it is. A little Cajun seasoning. Time to get my bacon started. Time to add the bacon to the cold pan and then set your heat at a medium high heat. You can hear the pan is starting to heat up. Separate all of this and we're going to let this get toasty.
I'm going to lower my heat a little bit. So I'm going to get toast here, but I don't want them to burn. And then I'm just going to put these to dry on the same towel that I have my tortillas on. I'm going to reuse this grease to cook my eggs and to saute my vegetables with. Turn the heat on a medium low to medium setting and add in your onions and your jalapenos. If you have tomatoes, you can add those later on, but I don't have any right now. Allow these vegetables time to soften. Your onions will get translucent. The jalapenos will change color. Give those time to cook down a little. My onions are beginning to caramelize, which I love. That always adds some extra flavor. Now I'm going to add in my eggs. I'm not going to be adding the bacon and tortillas in just yet. I'm going to let the eggs cook a bit first. Before my eggs finish cooking, I'm going to add the tortillas and the bacon. Mix it all in and you're done. Put some sriracha on top or some pepper jack cheese. If the tortillas weren't already in here, then we could put this in tacos. Or if you did papas instead of the tortillas, you could definitely put that in tacos. And that's it. And that's how we do it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found some helpful tips and tricks today, something you learned today that you didn't know yesterday. And thank you for getting your day started with me today. Toodles.